your 10 travel highlights in Passau. The cultural and university city of Passau is located in eastern Bavaria, not far from the Austrian border. You can get there, for example, by car via the A3, by long-distance bus or by train directly to the city's main train station. Three rivers flow through the beautiful city, the Ills, the Danube and the Inn and that is precisely why travelers from all over the world love to visit this city. But there are more reasons to go to the city at the Three Rivers Corner. First of all, a visit to the historic old town. Visiting the picturesque and historical old town with patrician houses and other architectural highlights is architectural styles worth seeing is part of the first part of the trip to Passau. The Baroque city center was designed and built in the 17th century. Between Ills and Danube is the mountain St. George at a height of 108 meters. From the tower of the castle church of St. George you can overlook the beautiful landscape and think about what to visit next. If you want to experience the Three Rivers City on the spot, either book a short vacation on the weekend or treat yourself to a longer vacation with the whole family. The history of the cultural city is over 2,000 years old and if you want to hear the stories from the locals, you can get a historical overview in the old town. The tour of the castle and the cathedral. In 1932 the Three Rivers City took over the fortress Westoberhaus and with 65,000 square meters the imposing castle complex is one of the largest in Europe. Dive into the time of the Middle Ages and enjoy the permanent and special exhibitions about the history of this interesting city. If you start your trip to the Three Rivers City with a group of at least five people, you can book an individual tour of the city of Passau with the tour guide for one hour and have the city's town hall presented to you, for example. The tour of the cathedral for individuals is another highlight, you will be personally informed about the history of the cathedral precisely and individually via a headset. Get to know the modern cultural life of the city. The mixture of historical buildings, scenic natural areas and modern art make the city attractive. Shopping and feasting are just as possible as visiting the magnificent buildings or taking part in current cultural events. If you visit the university town, you can accompany some young artists to the cabaret days in the Scharfrichter House, Executioner's House, where they are awarded the Scharfrichter Bile, Executioner's Axe. This award is intended to pave the way for a glorious career in cabaret. People like Happe Kirkeling have started their careers here. Then it's off to the festival in the city, which is celebrated every year as part of the European weeks from June to August. The event has a different theme each new year. If you prefer theatrical performances or opera contributions, as well as the operetta songs, this is the right place for you. The Christmas market with regional delicacies. Every year, locals and tourists enjoy the pre-Christmas season, and a visit to the Christmas market at the cathedral in Passau is an atmospheric travel highlight in any itinerary. Tolerance is very important in this Bavarian city and the locals look forward to guests from all over the world who want to get to know the historical and modern cultural life. Accommodation is available in inexpensive guesthouses or luxurious posh hotels, so the city can offer the right accommodation for most budget situations. Culinary delights bring new energy after the visits to the cultural sites. Top Fen Schman, cottage cheese pancakes, roasted veal shank or the Donauwala, Danube Wells catfish, and other regional dishes are served with great pleasure. While enjoying the Bavarian delicacies, travelers and locals get to know each other better and valuable insider tips are given for the subsequent itinerary. The excursion boats for short and long tours. The Three Rivers Danube, Ills and the Inn characterize the cityscape and are part of the maritime flair of Passau. The Harbour Festival on the Ills is definitely worth a trip, because at the Folk Festival you will meet nice people from the region. With the ships you have the possibility to make a trip across the Ills or the Danube. If you want to tour all three rivers, simply book the Three Rivers round trip and make yourself comfortable on the ship during the trip with a snack and your camera. For gourmets, there are extra gourmet trips that turn the cruise into an unforgettable event. In the evening, for dance lovers, there are Danube trips with dancing on the ship or, for example, the two-day trip to Vienna. Theme trips by ship across the three rivers are organized to suit the season, so that travelers are welcome in the three rivers city at any time of the year. Sports are especially fun in Passau. The city is ideal for athletes, because in addition to water sports, there are many destinations for joggers and hikers, which make the stay a sporting experience. Cycling is not only beneficial to health, but also very practical to experience the Bavarian city up close. 
for cyclists and for those who want to become one, the Three Rivers City is a cyclist's paradise. There are bike paths with specific themes. The Roman bike path is one of these special offers for cyclists. Long distance bike paths make a bike tour from the Three Rivers City to Vienna possible. As a cyclist, the experience of nature is particularly impressive. If you prefer other sports, just play golf, because there are 15 golf courses in the vicinity. In the winter season skiing, horse-drawn sleigh rides or curling are very popular seasonal sports attractions for guests. The Three Rivers City with three geotopes for environmental protection fans. Eastern Bavaria is a 12-month destination that offers so many attractions that it can be toured again and again. The Bavarian Forest National Park and the western town of Pullman City are not far from the Three Rivers City and can additionally be included when visiting the city. The Three Rivers City in eastern Bavaria is not only connected to all major highways to Austria, but other places can also be reached quickly via the existing rail network. 50,000 inhabitants of the District Free Three River City Passau form the hospitable frame for a short or also for a longer stay in the lively city. Friends of the environment can visit three geotopes or look around the two nature reserves during their stay in the city. The city has a high environmental status in Europe that it is suitable as a base information on the subject of active environmental protection. The Prince Bishop Opera House the Bavarian Opera House should not be forgotten during the planned visit to the city, because it is firmly rooted in the cultural history of the city on the three rivers. In the Prince Bishop's Opera House there is also an acoustic music theatre that combines the art of music with the art of acting. As a former Roman settlement, the city of Passau is surrounded by hills and its location at the three rivers corner, combined with the Prince Bishop's Opera House, makes it a magnet for tourists. Worth seeing art paintings in the town museum. The City Museum exhibits collections of paintings that have great cultural significance for the region. During the tour of St. Stephen's Cathedral, other paintings and ecclesiastical altars can be admired. The Glass Museum in the city on the Three Rivers is known worldwide and Bohemian glass from early periods to modern times is a visual delight for the friends of filigree art. The Roman Museum has been in the city since 1982, and the remains of the walls and watchtowers in the former military camp can be seen in the open-air area belonging to it. The Nibelung city of Passau has a lot to offer not only for historians, but is interesting for all those who want to discover the Venice in Bavaria in all possible Bavarian facets for themselves. The Episcopal residence is a destination for a day trip. Right near the cathedral in Passau you will find the bishop's residence, built from 1712 to 1730. The style of the Viennese late Baroque distinguishes the building, and the residence houses the diocesan museum. The staircase in the magnificent residence has stuccos and on the ceiling there is a ceiling fresco with a photogenic representation of the gods of Olympus. The city in general has an Italian flair, because Italian builders have been involved in the creation of the current cityscape.